Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial. Today I will show you how you can check whether your network card supports monitor mode or not and how to enable it. So there are several ways to do each one of those things. However, the simplest, the absolute simplest thing for you to do now is simply to go ahead and open up your favorite web browser. Mine is Firefox. You can open up whatever you want. doesn't really matter. Type in the search field of whichever search engine you're using airmon-ng so airmon-ng oops I got a mistake there Mon. press enter and just see the first couple search results that come up one of them will be your answer so look it's the first one here just click on it and see where it takes you you're gonna go ahead to their website they will not show the compatibility options on their home page rather instead they will show usage examples and so on and so forth but we're not interested in that just yet go ahead and click on compatibility drivers in the upper left corner scroll down uh, it's telling you they're determined the chipset and so on and so forth uh, some other resources that you can use etc but you're not interested in any of that not just yet anyway down below you have the lists of compatible network cards so if you can find the one that you are using here uh, you can rest assured that it does support monitor mode and you will be able to do the things that we're gonna do in this tutorial with your own network card so look it says Atros I'm using that one and then you have some versions here etc etc uh, down below you have this one I've never actually heard about this but down below you have Broadcom and most likely like most likely you're either gonna have Broadcom or you're gonna have Atros so one of those two most likely I don't know it depends which computer you have and what you're using you could have something else but most likely you're gonna have those two and it should work with those two pretty much whatever you have just in case it doesn't you have a list here so you can check before you start any other troubleshooting make sure to check whether it supports it or not so as this is no longer needed I'm just gonna go ahead and close the browser go ahead and enter my terminal clear the screen from this and remember the command ifconfig so very useful I'm just gonna go ahead and type it in ifconfig and for this I want my wireless interface I do not want my wired interface even though currently I'm connected via both so VLP2S0 press enter it's gonna list it out but you can't really see much of the things here I mean the information is mm, like there's a lot of I mean not a lot of information but certainly enough for you not to be able to see the mode however it is not shown here anyway and just sh just to be certain of that you can type in VLC, uh, I have config VLP 2s0 you can pipe that to grep pass I argument to make the grep command case insensitive and type in mode I specified m m case insensitive primarily because this first M can be capital or uh, small letter and that can sometimes be a problem so just press enter you can see that nothing comes out you do not have a you do not have a mode option here it does not tell you in which mode is your interface running but you also have another option you can type in IV config this is another command that you can use for network card so IW sorry not IV IW config press enter and there you go you get a listing of all the of all the interfaces that have wireless extensions and those that do not have them it just says no wireless extensions now here it says mode managed but we can do pretty much the same thing as before if you want to check the mode of a specific interface which is much simpler to do as opposed to doing this as you get a lot of information and you need to actually manually with your own eyes go through all that information it can be confusing from time to time especially if you have a lot if, especially if you have several wireless network interfaces uh, with USB cards etc so just go ahead and pick the interface that you want from IF config C VLP 2s0 I know that's fine but yours can be something else just check it out in IF config and then go ahead and type I IW config VLP 2s0 grep and pass the pass just in case pass the pass the argument dash i to ignore case 
to ignore cases of letters and go ahead and type mode. Press enter, excellent. So what we get here is it says mode semicolon managed. We know that the mode of our wireless interface is managed. Here you can see the frequency, the general frequency for wireless, that the wireless frequency anywhere in the world, it's 2.4. There is another one uh, which is not which is not used that much. 2.4 is the one that is generally used and that you will generally see here. Uh, this is the access point, this is the MAC address, etc. There's some other information there, but we're really interested in this mode field. So it says managed here, but we don't really want that. We want uh, we want it to be able to receive all traffic, even traffic not intended specifically for it within a network. So we're just going to go ahead and I'm, I will go ahead and demonstrate two ways in which this can be done. <coughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and type in IW config. With that command, I want to bring uh, my network wireless wireless network adapter into monitor mode. So just go ahead and pass the name of your wireless interface, field P2S0. And if you don't know the syntax for setting the mode for it, just press tab and the system will basically give you a list of possible options. And look here, it says mode. So go ahead and type in mode, space. You can press tab again to get the, to get the listings of possible modes and so on and so forth. But in this particular case, we know that we want to type in monitor as that is the mode that we want our network card to operate in. When I press return now, I will get an error. And there we have it. It says device or resource busy. What this means is that my system is already using it. And in order to perform this task, to set it into monitor mode, it needs to actually bring it down. And then it needs to be brought back up again. It cannot bring it down because it is being used. In order for us to bring it down, Keep in mind that you need to be root. You need to be either a root user. You see it says root at localhost. Or you need to be a user with pseudo privileges. So the user in Linux that can act as root with the command sudo. So if you were a user with pseudo privileges, you would just type in sudo. You would type in the command that you wanted. So I have config here and then pass the arguments, press enter, you'll be prompted for a password. If the password is correct, it would execute. If not, you would stop there. You would, bas you would basically be stopped there by the system. In any case, I'm just gonna go ahead. I just felt like I should tell that to you because it is very important so you wouldn't get some unnecessary errors basically saying permission denied or something of a kind just to save everybody a bit of time. I'm going to go ahead now and type IF config because I want to bring my wireless interface down so that I may do, so that I may apply these changes. Go ahead and pass the name of your interface, so VLP2S0, and what might the command be to bring the interface down? Well, simple enough, just type in down. The interface will be brought down. If I type in IF config again alone, you will see that WL WLP2S0, my wireless interface, is not listed here at all as it is down. F to do a follow-up of that command, let's just go ahead and clear the screen so you have a better overview of things. Type in IW config VLP2S0 mode monitor. There we go. Press enter and our wireless network adapter is in monitor mode at the moment. However, do not forget to bring it back up. Otherwise, you will not only will you not capture any traffic at all, but you will not be connected to anything at all. You will not have internet access. Just go ahead and type IF config VLP2S0. And just as we've typed in down, just go ahead and type up. That's it, simple as that. Press enter. The interface will be up. Just to make sure that it is up, you type in IF config once again. And there we have it. VLP2S0 is up. Clear the screen. Firm. It is very important to confirm that your wireless network card is in fact in monitor mode. In order, that is a very simple thing to do. You can do it very fast and it can save you a lot of trouble later on because sometimes this fails and you just go ahead and try to capture packets with Wireshark in monitor mode but it doesn't want to work. It doesn't function the way you want it to. It can be problematic. You can spend a good amount of time troubleshooting the issue all of that can be circumvented. You can do 
all of that without any sort of problems by just confirming that you are that your network card is in fact in monitor mode with a simple command iwconfig and type in vlp 2 s 0 notice how you don't actually need to just type in ifconfig I have done this before in order to get a listing for your wireless interfaces rather instead you can pass the argument which is the name of a specific interface and get information only for that particular interface press enter and there we go it says vlp 2 s 0 is mode monitor Ex excellent so now we have our wireless interface in monitor mode however uh, this method doesn't always work there can uh, you can have some hidden problems that you are not aware of that can interfere with your packet capture process with the functioning of the network card within this mode and there is another way of doing this which is usually a better way primarily because it gives you a listing of possible processes that might interfere with the functioning of your network card in this particular mode. That is what we shall do in the follow-up tutorial. In any case, I hope to see you there and I hope that you have enjoyed my tutorial.